I am so excited we found two cakes that have blue icing because I think that's gonna work in our favor for this to that episode three. Um, we're making a winter wedding cake. I'm super stoked for it. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I have a really big announcement, so like stay tuned till later and find out what it is. Why do they always cover everything in sprinkles? There's so many sprinkles. I'm gonna have to like carefully take off all of them, but at least the blue icing I'll be able to reuse. See, since we're gonna do like a wintry wonderland kind of Christmas cake, but like in a very modern way, I can use all the blue icing. So we didn't want to go like that red and green route. And we really didn't want to go just like that basic white cake with flowers on it. We wanted to do something different and fun and bold. So, oh yeah, um, subscribe. If you guys have not subscribed already, um, hit the subscribe button. We make fun content here and I never tell people to subscribe and I've been getting a hard time by YouTube by being like, not telling you guys to subscribe, so. Got all the sprinkles off and I'm just realizing that all my white icing can go in with my blue icing because it's all gonna be blue icing in the end anyways. Why is my arm just like hanging here? <laughs> <laughs> I noticed I cook like that too. Like I'm like flipping pancakes and my hand's just like up like this in the air. I'm brushing my teeth. My hand's like, my hand just doesn't know what to do with itself. Down here feels off, so it's just like, hello. Isn't that what like a sword fighter does? <laughs> 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 so I've got, crumb coating icing, final icing, and then this is just sprinkles. I'm not gonna be able to use it, but I can use it for something else maybe. Cake template. So these are just are like parchment paper circles that I put at the bottom of my cake pan, but I'm using it as a template. This is an eight and a six inch round, but I'm gonna have to cut it down a bit. I want these cakes to be as big as they can be and not have too much waste, but I wanna make two round cakes so I can tear them together, but I have to be able to cut both cakes out of these, I need four layers out of this. This one looks a bit smaller than this one. Can I have a measuring tape? This one is seven and a half, but then like this one, it's smallest point, like it's only seven. Grocery store bakers are gonna come for you again. Uh, that's gonna need to come down more. I need to cut a bit off of each of them. So on a scale of one to 10, how frustrated with the grocery store bakers are you right now? I am not frustrated. <laughs> Guys, you guys are awesome, okay? <laughs> Last time, none of this cake went to waste. I think Kevin ate half of it while we were doing this. And then the other half I chopped into like little containers. So whenever I'm tearing cake, I need like a cake board in between. I've noticed that like a lot of people, I don't think know how to tear cakes properly. I think people just stick a cake on top of another cake and think it's okay. And you have to add structure in. Otherwise your cake is gonna fall apart and it's gonna like collapse on itself. And that's because one of the cakes that we ordered from one of the bakeries for a review video did collapse in on itself. Like the next day I woke up and the cake was everywhere. That's because there's not like prop, they, and the funny thing is they tiered it, but like they didn't tear it properly. Um, so I'm gonna start, I'm looking for this cake board to be like the same size as the cake. And then I'm gonna ice the first tier, the top tier on this and decorate it on top of that. And then I'm gonna add a yummy layer of filling in the middle. I do not wanna just leave these cakes as is, as just like a vanilla cake with vanilla icing. Cause this is a wedding cake. I wanna level up the flavors, but because it's kind of like a winter Christmas themed cake, I want to have those kinds of fillings. The top tier, I wanted to do like a candy cane cream filling. So I'm gonna crush up some candy canes and sprinkle those all and fold it into the filling itself. So it's gonna have those like chunks and crunches of candy cane, which I think is gonna be so yummy. And for the bottom tier, I wanted to do like a hot chocolate flavored one. So I'm gonna be folding in actual hot chocolate powder into my icing and then layer that in. I think like sprinkle some like little mini marshmallows on top because that's what you expect when you get like a hot chocolate. That's good. I, like 10 out of 10 recommend, like just mix some, you know, hot, I got like caramel hot chocolate mix and just mix into some icing. Ooh. Now to hold my fillings in, I'm just gonna do a little moat on the outside and then I can just like scoop this yummy filling in. And I feel like I made way too much filling. It's okay, because they're both super yummy. And then our bottom tier, we're gonna do the hot cocoa one. I'm very proud of this filling. And like, I know I'm aware that mini marshmallows don't exactly scream wedding, but since I'm going with the hot cocoa flavor, I feel like you can't have the hot cocoa without marshmallows, so I'm gonna add them in. Now I'm gonna use the icing that already had some like crumbs in it to crumb coat the whole cake. But so far, like, I'm feeling optimistic. Like we've done one of these, so I've got some more confidence than last time. And I feel like the flavors are really good and on theme for what I was going for. So normally with cakes, once you're done crumb coating them, you chill them. 
but I did a test with this icing like last week to see if it did chill and harden up and it doesn't. When it goes in the fridge, it gets rubbery, which is weird. So I'm feeling the vibe of having it like a white cake and then having maybe like two or three different shades of blue. But since this icing already had all of the blue in it from the decorations, I feel like I'm just gonna see what this one looks like. So I feel like this blue is just a little bit too like almost like sky blue, like a little bit too bubbly and I want more moody blues. I'm thinking if I add some black into that, it's just gonna dull it. Like I'm just looking for more of like a dull color, which is weird because I usually think like people are looking for vibrant colors, but winter is so cold and I want like a cake to feel very like kind of cold looking. Something is wrong with this icing. The more I mix it, like the, it looks like spongy almost. It's like really thick. It's hardly mixing. Like, I don't know if you can see the difference there, but if you watch me try to like glide my spatula through, like it's just, it barely moves. Whereas this one, it just, see how easily this glides through? So this is like fresh icing that hasn't been put on a cake. And this is the one that came off the cake that I tried to like mix and add color into. And when we're talking about when this icing goes in the fridge, it gets to be that like sticky rubberiness. I think that's what this is. I'm just left with this like sticky mess that I can't use. Like I can't put this on a cake because this color is supposed to go on top of white. And if I try to do even like a little test here, it won't go on top because it's because it's so thick and dense and like, we need more icing. Okay, I've added like a lot of water. And when I mean a lot of water, I mean like probably a quarter cup of water to try to soften it. And it's soft. Like I feel like the sponginess came out of it and it's soft. It's just the weight of it is so heavy because I feel like it's so dense. But I think I can still ice with it. I just don't think I can mix it with the other icing as much. Like I'm gonna have to be careful, but I think I can glide my spatula through, so I think I'll be able to smooth it out because I'd really rather not go to the store right now. I really never anticipating the icing coloring being the difficult part of the video, but before I get into decorating the cake, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video and fill you guys in on my secret project that I've been working on for months. I'm launching my first ever online class through Skillshare and I seriously can't tell you guys how excited I am and how much hard work went into this class to make it perfect for you. We created the ultimate guide to decorating cookies to level up your cookie game. In my class, you're gonna learn everything from the basics to advanced techniques broken down in a way that anyone can replicate. Of course, with the holidays, right around the corner, I had to include an entire section on my favorite winter wonderland cookies. They're cute. If you're running tight on time, like the rest of us, you're gonna love how Skillshare breaks their classes down into short lessons, making it so easy for you to get the information you most need help with quickly. There are thousands of classes on their platform. If you're looking to explore a new skill or learn some new techniques for an existing passion, you should check out Skillshare. The first thousand people to click the link in the description box down below will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership where you can explore your creativity and get inspired. Let's decorate some cakes. You messed up. <laughs> you guys can hear me, I'm guessing, for that whole section. Yeah, we didn't drink anything. No, we? Yeah, you, we, you I, I'm icing a cake. Of, I'm icing a cake. I, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Let's fill you in what you missed. I iced a cake. That That's about as far as we got. This bottom tier, I want it designed just with, I am planning to ice it in this color blue, and now I want to put like other colors kind of blotched on top of it, and then, I'm gonna really blend it through because I wanted these colors in it, but not chunky looking. But the top tier, the top tier, I want that to be kind of chunky looking. I've never does, like I've never done this technique before, so we're just kind of trying something here. But I think this should give me the look I'm going for. That's all you miss. Just blend. Yes. Oh, okay. This is what I wanted. I'm super happy with that. Okay. Feeling good. This one, I just wanna ice in white icing. I'm thinking that that'll help me control the blotches that are going on, because then I can have kind of a neutral undertone and then have big, bold pops of color. Ugh, I don't know if I like this. I feel like it's, like maybe it'll come together right now. It's like, not, not the vision. Like I think I need to blend it more. I think I'm just gonna add on colors in blotches and just hope that I get more of that blotchy effect and less of a blended effect. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So what I was saying earlier in the video with like that other cake not working because they had tiered it improperly, what I was talking about is they put two dowels in. When you put two dowels in a cake, the weight of the cake, yes, it's being supported by the dowels, 
but it can still tip this way or tip this way. You want the weight kind of evenly distributed. Just compare it to a table, like a table with three legs or two legs. Yes, then it's more tippy full. What if your cake is not the exact same height all the way around? Impossible. How is that impossible? Did you see how on level those grocery store bakers made it? <gasps> oh no, you did. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Don't okay. drop it. Why are they like the same size? Stop it! Oh, I think you should have ordered. Oh! Huh! Oh. <laughs> oh, why is it so far? You didn't tell me! They're like the same size. Oh my size. god, you're yeah. supposed to like guide me. I'm not taking this off and scraping it down to change the size. That's not happening. So I'm going to try to scrape icing off of this one to make it smaller and add more icing onto this one to make it bigger. And while I do that, I'm gonna try to add more whites into the top tier and more blues into the, or dark shades into the bottom tier to try to make them more of a contrast. I am not happy that I'm scraping back cakes that I just iced, but you know what? Hopefully it'll, it'll look better. I feel like it's better. At least I can see like an edge here, but it was also an hour of me just like putting icing on and taking it off. I feel like I'm still not totally feeling the vibe of it. It needs a lot more on it. I wanna do gold, except I don't wanna do gold leaf. I wanna do kind of like a gold splatter and I haven't done ever a gold splatter. I've done splatter cakes, but I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I want like streaks and like flicks and chunks of gold. With these dusts and stuff like that, I always use alcohol, usually vodka, because then the vodka or alcohol evaporates and it just leaves the color. I wanna try and see what it's gonna look like before I do it all over the cake and then like ruin the cake. Oh, what do we think of that? I think if when I go farther away, it did more dots. I think when I'm close, when I'm close, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I like it. Okay, um, I like it. Oh, I see it on the plant. It's all over the plant. Why weren't we using this? Yes. Okay. I think we're there. Now, question. Do we leave the board rustic and artistic or do we like clean it up? Yeah. Why don't we move on to the flowers? and then we can like circle back to the board. I'm aware that this looks like a lot, but I wanted options. And I'm seeing this, it's like, I know that the needles are not the look I was going for, but I didn't want flowers. Like I didn't want this to be covered in flowers. I really just wanted that like greenery look. And I got these to look like, you know, those little red balls, like cranberries. And I didn't want like bold flowers. I just wanted kind of like, a, almost like a dull muted flower. I thought these ones look kind of frosted. So I'm gonna get those ready to put into the cake. Whenever I'm putting flowers or anything greenery, like fresh like that into the cake, I always just use floral tape and that helps protect the flower from going into the cake. Flowers like this, they usually have pesticides in them from when they were grown and we do not want that going into the cake. And then you can just stick that right into the cake. Sunday, I tried calling like 10 bakeries to quote my cake and everyone is closed. The only one person I talked to said that my cake was very messy and they could make it more better. Um, so I'm gonna call more people tomorrow and put the final price here of what they think it's worth and if I'm officially offended. Let me know in the comments section if you guys also hate it or think it's messy. And thank you again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Guys, go check out my class. I am so excited about it. And the first thousand people to click the link down in the description box will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Love you. Oh, awesome. This is the last video of like 2020. So I will see you next year and bring on 2021. Hopefully it's better.